We live in a world where time is being captured by various devices and it kind of defines how the Earth ages in our universe. So it's kind of not the same thing, but cameras has their own time, which is somewhat connected to the world's time. If you are serious about what you're going to do with your action camera, you should make sure to sync the date from camera with what's going on in the world. And in order to do so, you just need to open GoPro app and make sure that the time scenes. This is an essential thing to do if you are planning to get use of data, which is provided by um, overlays, or for example, if you are going to use the footage with some other services, which scenes the data with the camera. If that time in your camera doesn't seem with the actual real life time, then you will have to offset the footage and also think about this. You might have few cameras, for example, and imagine that one has a different time than the other. If you capture content with multiple cameras, you would like and you would expect to have the same timestamps on both. Not the case if you're not going to scene the time. So make sure to scene the time before it's too late. We are not going to leave a topic about the timestamps just yet. It's because the quick capture mode, which is available in GoPros, ruins the timestamp as well. So if you are not aware of, the quick capture is a feature where you just click the power on button while doing some action sports, etc. And it automatically starts recording after a few moments. Then if you want to stop the recording, you just press it again and that stops and turns off the camera, saving battery, saving the space on SD card, etc. But the thing is that whenever you stop that camera and it shuts down, again, the time offsets by a bit. And if you're planning later down the road to do something with the footage, you will have multiple clips which will be offset in time by a few seconds here and there and eventually it will cause you delay and in such case you won't be able to use data overlays spot on as well. In order to avoid this, ideally you should always leave the camera on or just record all the time. So these are kind of two options. Of course, you can use quick capture if you want to, but in such cases you will be destined to have offset footage throughout the day. So that's up to you how to do it. Thanks for the time and I hope to see you around.